hello, Leslie here. So sorry that this video did not go up on time. It's been a crazy week following Mother's Day and then having graduation today. So now I'm behind in this planner again. I know it just keeps happening. Um, it's that time of the year as a teacher, we're just super busy when it's the end of the school year. So my school year ends not next week, but the week after. Um, but grad school, uh, my classes for the spring are done, but workshops start like in a week. So, all right, I'm gonna use this kit from Planner Sister Stickers. Um, the big quote here says, why yes, I actually do need all of these books, which is really funny. And then this one says, drink tea, read books and be happy, which I thought was adorable. Plus there was some lemons in this and you guys know I've just released like a few lemon clips. So I wanted to go ahead and feature those as well. And then I did a purple bow recently. And then I feel like there's like kind of like plant life as well with all the green. I didn't see any like plants, but there's like a little touch of green here and there. So I thought that would be fun. Um, and then I have my planner girl clip just cause there's like some girls in here. Um, I call them planner girls, but really they're just girls with like headbands and like messy buns and stuff. So kind of funny. And then I have some washi tape here. I think this one is from the washi tape shop. These ones might be from the planner attic box. Do you guys remember that? Um, they're no longer a thing, but I still have the washi, so I'm going to use it. And then I thought I might use, include the purple rose. And then this, um, this I don't think is available in the shop anymore, but it was a bookworm, um, mug that I made. So I thought that would be fun as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't have a set plan for like my spread, but there is a double connecting box. Her kits do that a lot, which I know you guys usually love kits that have like a scene. So um, I definitely wanted to use that. Now the rest of the kit is over here because I was taking the listing photo. There's also one of like the a bigger scene of like the girls walking past like a bookstore, it looks like. Oh, that's cute. It even says like fantasy, romance, classics. That's funny. Love that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use the date covers. I usually use it, I know I'm gonna use it when I have them like already down. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put some body, bottom washi, some body, some bottom washi <laughs> at the bottom. So there you go. So I'm gonna talk about um, Arts Fest that my town puts on. So I don't know if your town has like an art festival or um, ours is sometimes called, I think it's something different, but there's also, we do Art Walk. That's another thing that like my town puts on. Um, so there, the ticket price is just like $5 and it's kind of on a main street that kind of leads you to downtown, um, at least in my city. So I don't know what kind of festivals. We actually just talked about like school festivals because my son just had those. So I thought it was funny that like this just came up too. Oh, that's kind of fun. The whole like reading scene. That would be cute over here. But I feel like there's the girl right here too. So we could still do a more traditional spread if we want or we could mix it up. Should we mix it up? I feel like we should. Okay, let's try this. We're gonna do some like scenes just cause I said that I would. <laughs> I mentioned, I was like, some of you guys like scenes. So let's do it that way and then see what works. Cause this week is already like kind of halfway over anyway. So, cause today is Thursday. Can you believe it? I can't. This has gone by way too fast. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom with this one. We're gonna do lots of scenes, I think. I might end up with like a lot of leftovers, which is always great cause you guys can ask for it when you order. <laughs> and then I'll throw it in there. So it doesn't go to waste, it doesn't go to waste. So we went on Saturday before Mother's Day, the Saturday before Mother's Day. Um, we had a friend from my son's school. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. I want to go away, so I'm gonna take a quick sip. Enjoy staring at the full boxes for a second while I take a sip of water so I don't sneeze. Okay, all right, I'm drinking out of my water bottle, so sorry if you could hear that. All right, um, let's see, I have this scene and then I just had the other one. It ran away. It ran away because there's the girls in front of the bookstore. Okay, so we'll do this one up here. I'm doing something totally different than I normally do. <laughs> For sure. Okay, should I go like this and just put some glitter headers above? I feel like I should. I feel like that's my mood. <laughs> I'm in the mood for glitter headers. Ever since last week with my like double header idea, I don't know. 
which I know is like a baseball term, but I'm stealing it for the planner world. So you're welcome. It's ours now. Just kidding. <laughs> All the baseball planner girls are like, no. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I swear I'm kidding. Okay, I have to have this puppy just because it looks like my puppy. Um, so we went to go see a friend perform because the whole art festival thing, it's an art festival. I'm going to put this one here. Yeah, I think so because I want to still space it out a little bit. And then, um, so we had to park and then walk down town to go see, I want the book one for sure. I feel like I can skip this one and this one now because I have those and this. Yeah, so there's a chance that I could do that. Okay, but this girl is kind of this scene. So this is where it gets a little fuzzy. <laughs> so I feel like if I'm gonna use, um, let's see, which one do I wanna use? What is in her lap? Oh, a giant cat. Okay, I kind of want that one. I kind of want that one. Okay, maybe we need... Oh, I want to use this one as my theme sticker. For sure. I was trying to decide between this one and this one for theme sticker. But now I think it's going to be this one. Okay. The second line is usually good for me. If I can put it on there correctly. So I text her mom and I was like, we're here. And then she's like, okay, we're at the dance stage. And I'm like okay, we walk in and there's like a stage immediately in there, but it's got people playing music on it and she's not performing music, she's dancing. So I was like, ah, okay. So we just kept on walking. We passed by some like food vendors. There was lots of food vendors, like local food, um, like local businesses. I'm trying to decide and tell my story at the same time. Okay, I'm thinking this one up here and then this girl down here, even though I feel like, is she reading? What's she reading? That looks like a Jane Austen book. It does. It looks like a Jane Austen book to me. Okay. So we're going to put this one down here. So we have lots of space. And then we'll put this one up here. I'll throw in like a glitter header probably. Told you I'm in the mood for glitter headers. So these are all my leftover full boxes. Yay for you guys that asked me for those. All right, we should probably add glitter headers now before, you know, I pull a Leslie and just forget to add glitter headers all together because I do that. So we found um, where they were sitting and it was like towards the middle of the road that had been, like this whole road gets blocked off for two days. <laughs> like you can't use it. So, so it's kind of funny. I'm like, I feel like it probably makes a lot of people in town mad. I don't. It doesn't matter to me, but it's also not on, like, my particular, like, route home or route to work. You know, I feel like that's when you would be like, I hate this so much. <laughs> I feel like that's when it would get annoying. Okay, now I feel like I have to add glitter headers to the top of every full box just to make it look right. Or now I feel like it's a little wonky. So we're going to do that. <laughs> um, but as we were walking, there was, like, places where you could buy paintings or there was, like, it was, like, um... It's where they like burn art into wood. They had some of those, lots of pottery and jewelry places. And then, like I said, a ton of food trucks. Um, our favorite um, Jamaican patty place had their food truck there. And then what else did we see? We saw some Greek food. Um, we didn't get food. We had actually eaten before we got there. And then we weren't sure what we were doing for dinner, but the festival is over at five and we were getting there around uh, like three, I think she said the performance was at 345. So we got there like a little bit before then. Not too much before. I forget why. We were almost late, but then we were almost too early. It was one of those where it was like, oh, we're all ready. And then we're like, oh no, we have a lot of time. We should not go yet. So then we don't go. And then you almost like end up being late. Have you guys had that problem? No, just me. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put down all my full boxes first. If I can't fit Full box and a half box, that's okay. I will make it work, but you guys know I love my full box checklist so, so much. Okay, we need room for a header because we can't have a checklist without a header that says to do or today or something like that. Can't have it. Um, so we watched all the dances because it was like a dance company um, that was performing, like that she dances for. Um, and she did one, she was in a blue dress and she had like yellow and blue carnations on the top of her head. And then she had a big um, orange, 
I say yellow and blue carnations, yellow and orange carnations, and then she had a big orange daisy, like, um, like kind of worn across her bodice. And her dress was like flowy at the end, like a little ballerina dress, but not like a tutu. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I'm terrible explaining her wardrobe, but she looked adorable in it. And there was like lots of cute performances. And some of the students apparently had like choreographed their own. And so that was fun to see what they came up with to perform for everyone. And people would walk by and they'd like stop and like watch the dances and then they'd keep walking, you know. Like, but then you could tell there was people there that were like there to see the dances for um, like their family members and like maybe they had a girl or a boy that they were particularly watching. There was a group, there was a boy that had a bunch of young people watching him. It was funny. I feel so old saying young people, but they were younger than me. So I guess it's time to start saying that word. <laughs> I don't know. When do you start saying that young people? I don't know. I'm a teacher, so I'm around young people all the time, I guess. It just sounds like a weird phrase to me. I don't think I say it that often. So I did happen to see, speaking of young people, one of my students there. I did ask him later at school. I just waved at him then. Um, I did ask him later at school, like, what, what were you doing over there? Because he stayed for the entire performance. And he's like, my sister, <laughs> she was one of the dancing bears. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, that was a really cute one. He goes, yeah, she's funny. <laughs> So that was kind of cute to like see my students outside of school and see what their life is all about. He was like busy eating a churro and drinking the root beer. They had like, that was one of the other stands, I guess. I didn't see that one, but it was definitely there because he had some. And then, so we stayed through all the dances because, you know, we just wanted to. It was, you know, that's what we were there for. So then after we were done, we went to like backstage, which was just like behind the main stage. Um, and took pictures with her, which was fun. And then her mom was like, we should all just go to dinner. And so we said, yeah, sure. And we had, <laughs> we had the girl pick and she picked big whiskeys, which was funny because <laughs> I don't think my son had ever been there. Um, I don't know if you guys have one. I don't know if that's ooh, my washi. Oh, it was starting to roll away. Um, I don't know if you guys have those or not. I don't know if those are local or not. I have no idea. We have like three of them. So I think they're kind of chain chain ish I don't know <laughs> when we have more than one of something I feel like it is okay what if we just don't do headers for the half boxes I'm okay with that especially since they're rounded so we're just gonna not have headers and I don't seem to have a lot of room for washi tape here and there but I will up here so that box will get washi and I think it's gonna have that like purple combo washi. So I'm gonna put this here, like a little bit lower, and then grab my magical uniball pen and mark that out. So she said she has to go back to the studio and change clothes and stuff, and so it's gonna be a little while, um, if that's okay, if we could wait. And I was like, oh yeah, because we kinda wanted to like walk through the festival a little bit more, because it wasn't completely over, but the like a lot of the vendors were starting to pack up, but. Um, so we walked around and there was a whole like chalk area where like you could make your own art on um, the street of our town, which was kind of fun. And then Batman was over there. So <laughs> we got to say hi to Batman. And then one of the bowling alleys had like dog treats. It was very like dog friendly. There was like dog water bowls and stuff. And my, I guess my, <laughs> so my kid took one of the dog treats and I'm like, I think that's for dogs that are here. And they were like, no, it's fine. And I was like, okay, because <laughs> we didn't bring our dog. <laughs> But my son saw dog treats and thought of his dog. And so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I thought that was nice of them to just go ahead and give that to us. You know what? I think my washi cutter is over on the other side because I had to grab it. So we are going to grab this washi sample card that has plastic on it and use that. Because there's times where I will use almost anything to cut my washi tape. But I try not to use scissors. It just doesn't give it when I use them. It doesn't give me a straight line because I'm terrible at it. But these like it's like a laminated card. So that works works for me. OK, another half box. Probably drop this one down low, too, so I could put in some washi tape. I don't think I want the same one, but I'm afraid I won't have room for any other washi tapes. I might have a little bit of room here. So this one is gonna go ahead and go here as well. We'll go ahead and white those lines out again. There's the pen. 
Where's the pan? They also had like other little booths where you could just like do other little crafts. Like I think there was one where you like make paper cranes and stuff like that. Um, and there was a lot of like free things. And then there was the honey booth was there, the wax melting place. It's Shelly Smellies. She's also on Etsy. Um, but she sells at the at these kinds of things as well. She usually has a booth. She actually has some of her stuff at like local stores around town too, which I think is really cool. I don't. My Etsy shop is only on Etsy. <laughs> I have not done that. I have done um, like a, uh, what's my call it? Like a craft fair, but it wasn't like a huge, huge deal. I'm gonna let that dry and go ahead and grab this. So I think if I go all the way to the top, here, we'll do this. Oh, cause it's already rounded. Should we? Yes, we shall. Okay. That's fun. Okay, then I have room for washi tape there as well. And then we'll grab this one. Put, if I drop this down, no, I shouldn't try to like put washi everywhere. Okay, we'll need to white out that line too because it looks funny. It looks a little funny there because it's just floating out there in the oblivion. So anyway, we um, had to walk all the way back to our car too because you had to like park it. We parked at a grocery store that was like down the road and around the corner. Um, which is where most people go because, I mean, no, nobody charges. It's a big parking lot for a grocery store. And then we, um, right when we got in the car, she's like, we're on our way. And I was like, oh, perfect timing. So it just kind of like all seemed to work out. So then we went to Big Whiskey's. Um, and when we got there, our waiter was like, so I'm new. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and put this all the way to the top as well because I kind of did that on the other one. I liked how it turned out. He's like, I'm new, and I'm like, everywhere. That I feel like, at least in my town, I don't know how it is everywhere else, but in my town it seems like everywhere we go, people are new at their job, which I guess is a good thing and a bad thing. I don't know. But he did fine. He was a great waiter. He just he didn't have the menu like completely down. Um, so the one of the reasons we went there is because the girl liked um, their chicken parm, and so that's what she wanted to get. So... There was two different ones, which I noticed on the menu because I like chicken parm, so I was considering it. That's not what I got, but <laughs> I was considering that one. And, okay, do I go purple or green? Because this whole column is kind of like purplish, bluish gray, but I feel like it's a blue gray, not a purple. So I'm thinking the green leaves might be a better look for this one. This one came in a set from the washi tape shop which I have a link to if you want to check it out. Okay, but they're just like leaves. They're not like any particular kind of tree, I don't think. I love how I'm looking for my washi cutter and I know I'm using this right now. Isn't that how it goes? Isn't that how it goes? At least I didn't get any washi that's like super high maintenance that wouldn't let me use this. <laughs> All this washi seems to be tearing just fine with this and that. Okay, we're not missing any headers because I'm not doing that on my half boxes. And then we have functionals, sidebar sticker, sidebar sticker, so we can track orders, put that in. And then I use headers for that. Um, I ordered a, I think it was like a chicken, it was a chicken wrap of some kind. <laughs> some kind of chicken wrap. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> I don't remember what mine was. And my husband ordered a wrap too, so... And then um, her mom ordered some kind of salad with strawberries on it. And she, <laughs> she like whispered to me and she goes, my salad has walnuts. And I was like, is it not supposed to have walnuts? And she's like, no. And I was like, are you allergic? And she's like, no. And I was like, are you going to say anything? And she's like, no. Because <laughs> he was new. And then he also came by because our food was kind of taking a while. And he was like, yeah, we're short on the kitchen staff, which I feel like is also a big thing right now. Okay, so today's Thursday. Thurs thirsty. Apparently, I need a drink. So here's the plan with me. I'm going to get a drink real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All right, so um, payday for Etsy is on Tuesdays. And then I have been mailing orders like every day. I've been getting a chunk done here and there and everywhere. <laughs> Um, and then listings actually didn't get done till today. I've been behind this week. I told you guys that. And then coffee Monday. I actually drink coffee pretty much every day. I go to work. And then occasionally on the weekends. Um, 
The rest of this stuff doesn't really fit in this planner. Trash day does. I usually put that one down because um, we have office trash for the shop. And then I don't think I'm going to use any of the other ones on here. So it will go in the D stash pile as well. And then we'll grab my functionals right quick out of my sticker pocket. Sticker pocket. I did not release a new sticker pocket this week. <laughs> I did not. All right. So my plan with me is going up all night. So we will have a plan with me up on Friday, which is when this video is going to go up. So that's going to go here. And then I will film again probably tomorrow night. Um, actually, I want this one for Sunday. Hopefully we have the bonus video on Sunday because I got a new planner. No, not for this year. Well, kind of. It's my new teacher planner. I went ahead and ordered one. So we're going to have videos probably Friday, Saturday, Sunday is my plan. But, you know, life is life. And we are flexible with whatever comes our way. So it's a good way to look at things, isn't it? That's not always how I feel. I'm like, no, this was not planned. <laughs> That's how I am. <laughs> um, so we had a good time chit-chatting and talking and just hanging out while um, we waited kind of a while for our food. Like I said, I mailed orders every day. So I'm going to stick a little variety of mailing stickers down because I know I did. And then this one says new releases. So that's fun. This one's from Sarah Elizabeth Prince. Oh, this one was from Cupcakes and Stickies. I don't think I said that. Should I go above it or under it? I think under it. Nope, above it. Because the L comes up too high to go under it. It looks funny. Okay, I have another one. I have, where's my other one? These ones are fun. We could use one of these for mailing orders. How about that? For Monday. There we go. These are from Sparkle and Shine Designs. Um, what else? What else? Um, listing photos got done yesterday, so also behind. And then <laughs> um, Washi Wednesday never happens. I just like the stickers. And I don't think I have anything else to really add in as far as sticker wise. So I think that's how my spread is going to look. Yay, we're almost done. Okay, so I want to have, are you serious? Oh, there it is. I was like, did I not use the lemon sticker after talking it up so much? Okay, we're going to put a lemon over here, and then we're going to put this lemon over here. I'm hoping that I do more lemon kits. I do have, I think I showed you guys that sticker book that's like about like gardening and flowers and things. Um, and that one has a citrus, couple citrus sheets in it that have like limes, oranges, and lemons. So I'm excited to use that. Okay, put this one down. This one is our new light pink flower. So I feel like this one really matches. This is going in the shop on Friday when this video goes up. And what else do I have room for? I feel like this teal isn't quite the right teal. So I guess we'll go, okay, I'm gonna switch this out. Purple flower over here, because I put this flower over here. But this is kind of a flower too, but it's a succulent. So that's what I'm, that's what it is. So there you go. So this is my spread for the week we're currently in. Um, I'll jot things down. Usually after I film, I'll take a picture of it kind of like this, and then I'll start writing in it. So that's how it looks. So thank you guys for joining me. Let me know if you guys have any festivals in your town that you always go to. Um, mine also does like a fall one, so I would love to know about yours. Um, if you feel comfortable, you can tell me what city too, because maybe someday I might be able to go. Who knows? So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!